Hey everyone and welcome to another All About RVs video. Today we're going to take a look at a brand new 2020 and a half Forest River Riverstone Legacy Edition 39 FK TH Toy Hauler 5th Wheel. We're going to take a few minutes, walk you around the inside of the coach, and then come on back to the outside and show you around this beautiful camper. All right, guys, we're now up inside the new Riverstone 39 FKTH fifth wheel toy hauler here. And we're going to run you around the inside real quick and then head back to the outside. And as you can see, we're looking toward the kitchen area here. This again, as you've seen on the floor plan up there, it is a front kitchen fifth wheel. So it has a huge kitchen section up here. There's two slides, one on each side of the kitchen. And the one here on the left side contains the Furion larger oven there, which is a really nice oven upgrade compared to some of the old traditional ovens and RVs. It's got a glass front, a little digital display on there, three burner cooktop. There is a large fantastic fan up there with the thermostat control and everything to help exhaust out any moisture and smoke and stuff from that oven. Big residential refrigerator there. That residential refrigerator runs off of an inverter while you're driving down the road. The unit also has a solar panel system and you can see a little control over there on the left corner back there. But the solar panel system also helps charge the batteries and stuff when you're boondocking or driving down the road, things like that. That refrigerator does have an ice maker built in also. Quite a bit of cabinet space and drawer space on both sides of the refrigerator there. Electric outlet on both sides of the fridge. Quite a bit of drawer space and again cabinet space and you have the microwave or convection oven depending on how the dealer orders it. This one here is the convection oven feature. This is the new Riverstone Legacy version also. So this is the new Riverstone Legacy floor for the mid-year model change. And while we're looking down here, you can see the dishwasher that's built into the island. A little bit of storage there on the side. You have a double stainless sink. Basically the one on the left is a little bit larger, 60-40 uh, kind of split. And you have a high-rise pull-out spring faucet there. They do a different color ceiling also in the kitchen, which they've been doing that for the last couple years. So you can kind of see that in my previous videos as well. New wood color for the mid-year model change. This is the Juno wood. So it's kind of a grayish tone to it. And then they also still have the Danville wood as well. The Mocha wood was discontinued for the mid-year model change. You have two traditional RV dinette chairs here. They do have some storage underneath the seat part there. But you can sit right here, watch dinner or eat dinner, and at the same time, watch TV. Look out over your area here. Electric fireplace, which is basically a Fancy space heater, but that does uh, change different colors and stuff too. So you can change the rocks, things like that into different colors by pushing a button down there. There's a Bose soundbar system on the Legacy package. There's also a DVD stereo system and a little bit of storage in that black glass section down there. Samsung TV right there, it's a big TV. It is on a swing arm, so you can move that TV around if you need to. Now, down here in the living room section, you have two sofas that are across from each other. They are hide -a bed sofas. However, you can't open them both up at the same time. Um, if you do need that feature, we can special request trifold sofas, which will open at the same time. The hide -a bed sofas actually sit a little more comfortably during the daytime. They're a softer seat, where the trifolds are a harder, firm seat. So it can be done by special request. It might cost you a little bit of extra, but that is a difference in the newer version versus the older version. 
and there is obviously a ceiling fan here. Ceiling fans became standard where they used to be an option. Um, some people wanted them, some people didn't, but that is now standard on the coach. You can see a little drawer built into the step there going up into the bedroom with some little uh, night lights on the wall there. I'm going to spin back around here so you can see the other side. And you have your power theater seating, which faces directly at the TV. So a nice little reclining section there. And those are heat and massage seats also. There's also a USB port built in right here. This little thingy flips open. And then there's a little cup holder thing that pops up. And just kind of helps keep it uh, from tipping over. Helps your cup from tipping over a little easier. Back over on the other side, there is also a drawer in that step going up to the kitchen. There is the electric box down there with your breakers and fuses. Another grab handle to help you get in and out of the kitchen area there. The windows are covered with the day-night roller shades. They are deep tent safety glass dual pane windows. So there's two layers of glass there to try and help insulate things a little better, deaden the sound a little bit better. The air conditioning is all ran through the ceiling and these are the larger 15,000 BTU Whisper Quiet Air Conditioning Systems. There's three of them on this unit. Two are standard, third is an option, so you can get or not get that depending on where you live. The heat is ran through the floor section. Going up the hallway area, there is again another grab handle there. Window in the hallway section. Love the crown molding and stuff around the ceiling edges. Bathroom is here on the right. Three drawers, a little cabinet area there with the trash can built in. Solid surface countertop here. Huge mirror. It's all backlit. Another turbo exhaust fan up here in the ceiling section. One piece fiberglass shower with the glass enclosure. Has a skylight up above. Sit down seat in there. Porcelain foot flush toilet. And then back in behind here is also another little uh, cabinet, like a little medicine cabinet on the back wall back there. Going into the bedroom area, this section is the part that raises up and is basically your toy is underneath of the bed area. So it's a little push button from outside in the garage. You push a button, raise the bed up and down. And there you can see in the video there that uh, little picture popped up. That's what it looks like when it is in up mode. Plenty of storage shelves back there on the side and above the bed area. There's an electric outlet on both sides of the bed. USB chargers on both sides of the bed. Little electric uh, slide out over here on this side. And in the closet area there is your Dyson vacuum. A couple drawers, there's four drawers built in underneath of this uh, slide here. And there's also, you can see the hanging closet section all the way across. Electric fireplace in here also. So you got a couple drawers down below, a couple drawers up above. Flat screen TV there. And on the left, there is the stackable washer dryer there that you can see in the picture. Plenty of room, though, to maneuver around the bed, get in and out of the bedroom area as well. And you do have a big window here overlooking your campsite area. And I like that they changed this to a uh, cloth versus the hardwood. Makes it a little uh, easier on your body when you actually bump into it. Again, guys, check out the outside. We're going to head out there. 
a uh, lot of construction features to kind of look over and see the outside this one is full body paint and you'll get to see that it is the blue thunder paint when we get out there all right guys we're now back on the outside of this new riverstone legacy 39 fkth we're gonna walk you around the outside real quick as you can see it is a full body paint fifth wheel this again was ordered with the legacy package upgrade you do not have to get this package if you're looking to save a little more money but that is an available feature now that was not previously available on the early 20s or the 19 versions or the 18 versions so legacy package now available on this unit listing what that is down below and this was the blue thunder paint job this was ordered with the optional slide out awning covers and the slide out awning covers now are standard with the metal wrap when the awning is closed it has a metal wrap that encases it to help protect it when it's in storage mode or travel mode and previously this was not available on this model the unit was also ordered with the optional trail air hitch pin box instead of a standard box so it does have an airbag and shock system built in there Try to pan up here a little bit so you can see the front. There's LED light strips built in up there and also across the bottom right there for nighttime. This one was ordered with the Onan 5500 watt generator. This is a propane generator. If you don't get that feature, you can get it just generator prepped or nothing at all. It is just a storage compartment at that point. And over to the right is a cylinder for the disc brakes that's where your disc brake fluid is stored this unit is a triple axle unit and does come standard with disc brakes on this particular model and that's also part of the legacy package upgrade on the other riverstone floor plans two awnings on this coach they are both power have led light strips and adjustable arms the upgraded more ride step and i call that an upgrade it is a little heavier duty than the traditional rv step this does come down touch the ground has four steps and basically that holds more weight and doesn't shake the coach as bad when you're running in and out the riverstone now comes standard with 40 pound propane tanks that was on the legacy package previously but the traditional riverstone only had 30 pound tanks so you do have 40s standard now. Area right here has motion detector lights that you can see just turn on right there when you get close. Or you can turn them on and leave them on if you want to. Little electric outlet there, light switch there. But a decent amount of storage space across here. One of the big upgrades on a Riverstone product is going to be the construction. This is a three and a quarter inch thick sidewall. You can see that there. And that is about an inch and a quarter thicker than most fifth wheels. Most fifth wheels are only a two inch wall. Some of your cheaper lightweight brands are an inch and a half wall. So that is a lot heavier duty construction. Gives you an R16 sidewall, where most RVs are really an R10 or R possible 11 if they stretch it a little bit. But uh, that is a better insulated sidewall. It is also not laminated. It is a hung fiberglass sidewall. So it's not held together by a bunch of glue. That is a huge feature in the upgrades of a construction on an RV. That means it's not going to delaminate like a typical glued together coach. If you peel this fiberglass off, there's actually a stud about every 12 to 16 inches on center. Most RVs that are laminated, studs are about every four feet apart. And if they delaminate, you lose a lot of the structural strength. So that is a big upgrade to the construction of an RV. Very few campers are built like this. It takes more time and money labor to build this versus running it through a prefabbed lamination machine hydraulic auto level system here and basically you just hit a button this thing auto levels all by itself it has six hydraulic jacks back here in the back section you have a flat screen tv feature this is an option you don't have to get that if you don't want the outside tv 
But there's an outside TV there, a little bitty Furion sound bar down there. Two outdoor speakers on the side wall here. Little storage compartment here as well. Another motion detector light. They do motion detector lights in all these outside compartments. And then you have a big storage area right here. So this goes all the way across. And even have a little electric outlet right back here. Thicker baggage doors with these slam locks also. So look at the thickness of your baggage door when you're comparing things, especially if you're that full timer or extended stay type of customer looking for something that is better insulated. Don't forget guys to like, share, and subscribe if you are interested in keeping up with more of my videos. I'm gonna set down the camera here for a second. Just wanna show you how this door kinda works. This is a more ride a zero G door. And it's super easy to pick up and down. Real simple to do. It's not a big heavy door. But I just wanted to take a minute and kind of show you what that actually was. That is an upgrade over some of the other brands of these type of toy haulers that have a spring assist door on the bottom and it makes it real heavy to pick up and down. So a small kid could pick this door up and down. Also, it has a little key lock right here. You basically just twist the key to unlock it. You don't have to have these extra bars or you know little uh, latches that you have to mess with. The unit has backup lights you can see led tail lights and running gear also there is a observation camera on the back here so you can use that while traveling down the road or in backup you've got docking lights back here to help load at nighttime i have the garage in up mode so you can kind of get an idea what it looks like in the picture that'll pop up here in a second you'll see what it looks like down but right now it is up so you have plenty of room to pull a golf cart in here or motorcycle in here I'll list the size of the garage specs down below for you also, or take a look at my old 2018 and a half video. It does have it listed out in there also. Motion detector lights back here as well. And there's an electric outlet back here too. But even if you don't have a motorcycle or a golf cart or something that you're wanting to take with you, you can still use this as a big storage compartment. Now you could put a gas grill back here, all your luggage, things like that, that you can't pile into the camper. You can stick them right back here. And then the controls for it are right there to make it go up and down. So basically all you gotta do is just push this button and this thing starts to drop down. So it's real simple, just a little electric system. I'm not gonna take it all the way down, but you kind of get the idea. The garage is rated for 2,000 pounds. You have the ladder on the back so you can climb up and down. Full walk-on roof. It is a plywood roof where a lot of brands use OSB board. So that is a little bit different, again, in the construction. This camper is also full aluminum studded construction, roof walls and floors, where a lot of brands go cheaper and do wood in the roof or wood in their floors. So that is another difference between this and some of the other products on the market. Some storage on both sides of the garage right there. The other side of the pass-through storage compartment here. And then you also have your docking station right here. So you got your little outside utility shower, water hookups, uh, black and gray tank uh, dump right here on this part. There's a little light back here also, a little switch. Cable and satellite hookups. But you can feed it all up through the bottom, lock the door there. The unit also has the on-demand water heater system, so you don't run out of hot water. That's a really nice feature if you like to take longer showers. We're going to back up here a little bit, get you a better view of this side of the coach. As you can see up there, there is a little security light in between those two slides up there. Over here on the front section, the other side of your storage compartment area. We'll zoom back in here real quick. 
And inside the storage compartment here, on this side is your 1500 watt inverter by Go Power, the ice maker shutoff line, low point drain for it, battery disconnect, and also part of the legacy upgrade package is the water manifold system. So you can actually turn on and off individual water lines right here if you spring a leak on the hot or cold side. There is some controls for the jacks out here, along with a little light switch for the cap lights. And down below, hidden in the little compartment down here, is the hydraulic reservoir for the slide out system. This little sticker here kind of tells you how to get the thing off and on the truck. Down below this section is your dump area for your, yeah, actually your dump, I guess you'd call it. But uh, there's a dump hose holder right there. And there's also another galley handle here for the kitchen area and the freshwater tank drain also. So you just basically pull, hook your dump hose up and pull everything and dump it. Over here is a little battery compartment area. There is room for four batteries. It comes with two batteries from Couches RV Nation, but you can do four. There are two 12 volt batteries. I have had some customers that have upgraded to four six volt batteries. So that is an available feature with your dealership if you want to do that. Um, so basic information on the camper right here. This unit was built 1014 of 2019, mid-year model change again. And it has a gross vehicle weight of 21,000 pounds. You have three 7,000 pound axles, two 15, 75 are 17 and a half inch H rated tires. So 123 PSI max, but that is the gross weight. That's the most they recommend you load the camper to, hitch weight, axle weight, all combined kind of thing. Another thing I really like on the outside paint job, you'll notice that the sides of the slide outs are actually painted the base color of gray, like the siding. A lot of brands don't paint the sides of their slide out, so they look pretty when they're closed up, but then when you open it up, it looks kind of dumb because it's just got a white slide out side. And also you'll notice the roof edge line up there is also painted. It's another thing I've seen on a lot of brands, they'll paint the side of the fiberglass but then you have a white rubber or vinyl type of roof up there um, where this is actually a paintable roof. So that edge line is all painted to match. Just makes it look a little nicer, a little cleaner. Um, here you can see the side cameras. So the unit was ordered with, again, the optional cameras, and it has side cameras, one above the entry door and one on the back garage area. Again, guys, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you're interested in keeping up with more of my videos. Trying to update a lot of these new models for you guys. We'll hopefully be getting in some more of these Riverstones and other products that we sell, and I'll be doing some more updates on those for you too. Thanks for checking out my video, guys. Be sure to check out CouchesRVNation.com, one of the largest internet wholesale dealers in the country. We'll definitely save you a lot of money on a new RV.